Standing on top of a volcano. Pretty cool. And there is the crater. Looking down inside a volcano. The last two nights, Eric and I, we camped uh, near Fillmore. We're at the Black Rock Desert at Tabernacle Hill. And this place is crazy. I had no idea this place was here until a couple of months ago. This is definitely one of the most unique places I've ever camped before. Um, nothing like it. There's there's where the youngest volcanoes in Utah are. And it is just cool to look at. We, we um, hiked all around and there's a lot of these lava tubes that were carved by the volcano here. That you can hike through and peek through down below. And... and uh, just one of the most unique places I've ever camped. It's crazy. And I'll show you what it kind of looks like. So this is Tabernacle Hill right here. And if you just, right next to it, there's this crater. Um, you can't see it from this viewpoint, but this black rim and right there, this little top right here, this is all part of a, a crater. When you get up, we hiked up to the top of that. And I also hiked up to the top of Tabernacle Hill, and you can just see the big crater that's right there. And there's Eric in my car. We had a tent set up there the first night. We decided we, we didn't like it. We were determined to, to find a spot to set up our hammocks, even though there aren't any trees here, and we did. And I'm standing right here by one of these tubes, these canyons that has carved out by this uh, volcano and it goes around the corner to the right it goes really far and there's a lot of different tubes and you can see where somebody else has set up camp a nice spot right in this little canyon here and uh, totally protected from the wind and uh, there's this this tube right here this uh, cave that is carved out and then there's a lot of these around, there's so many, and we hiked through all of them that we could find. And that is where we slept last night. It's pretty cool. Let's go inside. One cave that we went through yesterday, we were in the middle of it, underground. We could only see two little lights at both ends. And then all of a sudden there was this other third cave that would, like, branched off. And it didn't look like much at first, it was pretty narrow, no light at the other end. And we went in it, and it went really far back, but eventually ended. And it was pretty cool, so we came out and then went the other way that we were originally going. Yeah, so there's these boulders everywhere from... And the volcano flowed through here. And Made all the ceiling crash down. Here's our 
cameras. We had our cameras going last night. Eric did a time lapse. We had some cool things with flashlights and stars. Then we've hiked up there. See, here's this big bowl right here, big hole in the ceiling that we were shooting through last night with our cameras. Then we've gotten there and there's nothing, it just ends right there. But let's go up here a little bit. And this is where we slept last night. There's Eric's hammock, there's my hammock. And we were just staring at the stars. And if it rained, we didn't need our tarps. We did bring tarps, but we didn't need them because we're under this overhang right here. And rain would have just missed us. We could have listened to it and watched it. And we were kind of hoping for it for the pictures, but it's okay. We got some good ones anyway. So what did you think of this whole trip here, Eric? I didn't realize, A, there was lava rock in Utah, and B, I realized how I start to visualize big rocks falling and crushing me in my sleep. <laughs> yeah. Uh, those are a couple things that stood out. Uh, I really, I do like flunking. Cool formation. Yeah, this is definitely cool and very unique. I've never been anywhere like it. And then, after this video is over, you guys need to, if you want to search for his awesome work that he does just search for Eric Ward photography he's every time I go out with him he makes me feel like I'm amateur and I don't have a clue what I'm doing <laughs> he's, he's been doing it for many years and he's makes some really really cool art <laughs>